you're ready to go look at a four-stroke dirt bike but not sure what to look for well in this video I want to show you three simple things that will help show you whether the, uh, the bike you're looking to get is good or it's going to need a lot of work and maybe you should walk away from it so one thing is how does it start and run when I go to look at a used dirt bike uh, I prefer it if the seller does not start the dirt bike before I get there or when I get there because you never know what kind of problem it could have if the seller had to start it uh, before you got there because maybe they have been kicking it a hundred times before you got there because there's something wrong so I always touch the engine make sure that the engine is cold uh, bef uh, before I start it up so how quickly does it start up if you're using the proper techniques you're turning the gas and choke on and using a good kicking technique does it take one to three kicks to start or does it take five or ten or twenty or fifty uh, this could be a sign that maybe just the carb needs to be clean or it could be that the engine is low on compression and it needs work but this is just one sign that uh, can tell you whether the bike is in good shape or not and also how it runs uh, once the engine is fully warmed up you want to ride it test it go through the gears feel the clutch and the throttle if it has good smooth throttle response uh, and all the gears shift nicely the clutch doesn't slip then it's probably uh, in good shape and it'll last uh, quite a few hours but if you notice that it's really boggy, the clutch slips a lot, the gears are really notchy, something just feels off, doesn't feel normal, then it's probably going to need some work. Uh, it's hard to tell right away if it's going to be uh, major work or not, but uh, you can count on putting, uh, needing to put at least a little bit of money into it. The next thing you need to check is the oil, and most four-stroke dirt bikes have all the oil contained in one area except for some of the Honda four strokes, the transmission and the engine are separated, but uh, it's usually a dipstick or a sight glass they look on the side of the engine. And first you want to check if there is oil in the engine. And you do this by having the bike standing upright. You pull the dipstick out, you wipe it off, put it back in and pull it out without screwing it in. And the oil should be within the minimum, minimum and maximum uh, on the level. And if it's not, if you don't even see it on there then well you know that the bike probably hasn't been maintained enough so engines they naturally burn oil and if you run them long enough they're gonna run low and out of oil which can severely damage the engine it can cause it to seize if you run it like that for too long so if there's no engine oil or it's extremely black and sludgy then you know that the owner probably didn't take um, keep up on maintenance and it's probably going to need an engine rebuild sooner rather than later so count that into the cost of buying it or maybe even walk away and the third thing you want to check on every four stroke dirt bike that you're buying is the air filter a lot of people that don't like working on the dirt bikes they just uh, neglect or forget to change or clean the air filter and this is the really the only thing that's stopping dirt and mud and dust from getting into your engine so if the air filter is dirty then more engine or then more dirt is going to get into the engine and dirt wears out your engine the piston the rings the valves a lot quicker and if it's really dirty then you might need to rebuild the engine sooner than later so if you want to prevent even more common mistakes that people make when going to buy a used dirt bike I want to give you a free guide. It shows you some simple steps so that you buy a good used dirt bike so that you don't have to work on it right away. Uh, you can get that at motocrosshideout.com slash buyer or the link is in the description below. Have you bought a four stroke dirt bike that ended up being a nightmare because the seller was hiding something? Let me know in the comments below. This is Kelly Fager from Motocross Hideout. Learn more, ride more so that you can stay safe and have fun for many years to come.